السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. How are you? Grade five, my dear students. Welcome to English class and the second week of this term. And we are going to start in our new book with module six, which is talking about time for science. Uh, in this video, uh, after we watch it, by the end of it, we will be able to talk about colors in nature. You know, of course, about colors and also give information about something without avoid repetition or well, sorry while avoiding repetition and we will practice using it so please follow with me and listen carefully and try uh, uh, to participate with me and if you have any concerns or any questions you can uh, ask me on teams or online sessions and feel free to do that uh, get your books ready, your student book and workbook, and open them uh, on page in student book page six seven and workbook page fifty nine. Open your student book on page six seven and module six time for science, and we have a quiz. Let's start with the vocabs that we have. We have six new words that we have to learn. And they are very easy. Let's see what we have. We have the word melon, melon, dark, dark, light, light, planet, planet, and our planet is planet Earth, nature, and life. Let's listen to them one, once more. So let's revise them again. First word was very good. Melon. Next one. Very good. Dark. Next. Light. And the light has two meanings. If you are talking about the source that makes things uh, luminous, it's light, like light bulb. Light that you switch on and off. And if you are talking about light, Light that is bright, we say light, light color, opposite of dark color. This leads us to the next one. Uh, this is planet, planet, planet as a part of uh, a solar system or a bigger system. It's celestial body and our planet is named planet Earth. Yeah, this is the planet that we live on. And we have the word nature, nature, and then we have the word life. Okay, can you get the answers to the riddles? Read and find out, then listen and check your answers. Before that, I want to go to workbook page 59 to practice on the vocabulary that we have just learned. Uh, activity one. Find seven words from the lesson in the grid in the word search puzzle. Then use these words to complete the sentence. Number one, green is a color which you can find in, very good, you can find in nature. I like blue, but what blue is my favorite color? Which uh, hue of blue? It's light blue, very good. Number three, mom gave me some tasty after lunch. Do you remember which word that belongs to food? Very good, tasty melon after lunch. Number four, the sun gives what to our what? Very good, gives life to our planet. Number five, I like what colors, for example, black and brown. Black or brown even, uh, they belong to which group of colors, light or dark, 
Yes, very good. Dark colors, for example, black or brown. Number six is the third planet from the sun. This is our planet, which is named Earth. Earth is the third planet from the sun. And uh, in the word search puzzle, you can see them here. Yes. Melon, nature, life, planet, dark, earth, and light. Good job. Let's go back to the student book and see uh, the quiz. Color reduce. Uh, read and find out, then listen and check your answers. Let's read. Of course. Of course, blue. Of course. Mm -hmm. Orange. Very good. So these are the colors and these are the uh, riddles solved already. Uh, next, we have the lock, uh, lock books. It's something which or that we use to make ice cream. Which and that are called relative pronouns. They are used to join the, uh, uh, two sentences. It's something, something, thing, animal. Anything that are not human or place, we use which or that to join them. It's something which or that we use to make ice cream. Uh, a car is a vehicle which we use to go from place to another. A pencil is a tool that we use to write. See, I use that or which to talk about things. They are called relative pronouns. What can you remember? Play a game with your partner. Uh, you can find in fruit like bananas or lemon. You can find in fruit like cherries and strawberries. You see in the sky, you can find in nature. It's a color which or that you can find in fruit like bananas or lemon. Now I use the relative pronouns which or that. Both are okay. Both are correct. And the boy answered with yellow. So, in the next part, we will practice on using the relative pronouns which and that. Uh, this is the student book. This is what you have in your student book. Let's go back to the workbook and practice more on this. Join the sentences using the words in brackets and look at the example as a guide. Number one. A parrot is a bird. This is a sentence and it's ended with a period of full stop. It can talk. Between brackets, you are asked to use the word which to join the two sentences. It's easy. A parrot is a bird. Now remove the full stop and put the word or the relative pronoun which. Which can talk. No need for the pronoun it because you use the word which instead. Number three. Try it. I have got a new bike. It is very fast. Now use that to join the two sentences. 
It's easy to say, I have got a bike or a new bike that remove it and remove the full stop. That is very fast like this. Uh, sorry, uh, it's shuffled. Okay, no problem. Uh, it's here. I have got a new bike that is very fast. Number two, this is a magazine that is about nature. Now it's joined. Number four, the last one, an elephant is an animal. It is very big. Use which, take your time and try to do it by yourselves. Yes, an elephant is an animal. Remove the full stop, remove it, and put which instead as a joining word. An elephant is an animal which is very big. Like this. Uh, complete the sentence, use your own uh, ideas. A giraffe is an animal that, that is tall. Number two, a melon is a fruit which, try to complete it. Three, a carrot is a vegetable that, try to complete it on your own and we will discuss that when we meet next time. Number four, a bird is an animal which, try also to complete it with your own ideas. So that is it for today. Thank you again, my great, uh, my uh, uh, dear students and uh, uh, know that I appreciate watching this video and learning from it. Uh, thank you and take care of yourselves and your families. Stay safe at home and see you next meeting inshallah.